Republicans were in the spotlight last night. Eight GOP candidates sparring for basically second place as the front runner, former President Trump, tried to seal the spotlight with his own interview on X or Twitter with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson. Let's bring in Eamon Javers with the highlights. Eamon, what, what did we leave out so far? Because it was it was fun. And I we had both screens going and back and forth. It was it felt to me like the first kind of internet debate. There was my TV wasn't involved. I had an iPad and I had an iPhone going. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, we used to talk in the old days about the split screen moments in American politics. Well, this was a multi screen moment in American politics, and it was a contentious first outing for the Republican field in Milwaukee last night as candidates pounded each other and jockeyed for position. Even as you say, the man who far and away leads the pack appeared in a separate interview on Twitter instead of on the debate stage. The early part of the debate was dominated, though, by talk of the economy. Former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley focused on the issue of the national debt and who is to blame for it. You have Ron DeSantis, you've got Tim Scott, you've got Mike Pence. They all voted to raise the debt. And Donald Trump added $8 trillion to our debt. And our kids are never going to forgive us for this. And so at the end of the day, you look at the 2024 budget, Republicans asked for $7.4 billion in earmarks. Democrats asked for $2.8 billion. So you tell me who are the big spenders. I think it's time for an accountant in the White House. And businessman Vivek Ramaswamy uh, really introduced himself to a national audience here and laid out his vision for the economy. This isn't that complicated, guys. Unlock American energy, drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear. Put people back to work by no longer paying them more to stay at home. Reform the U.S. Fed, stabilize the U.S. dollar, and go to war. The only war that I will declare as U.S. president will be the war on the federal administrative state that is the source of those toxic regulations acting like a wet blanket on the economy. Meanwhile, meanwhile, where was former President Trump? Well, he was on Twitter, or X as it's known now, in a lengthy pre-recorded interview uh, with Tucker Carlson. He explained his decision, though, not to participate in this debate last night. I'm leading by 50 and 60 points. And, you know, some of them are at one and zero and uh, two. And I'm saying, do I sit there for an hour or two hours, whatever it's going to be, and uh, get harassed by people that shouldn't even be running for president. So it's not clear now if Trump is going to participate in the next debate. That one is scheduled uh, for September on Fox. We will next see him at the Fulton County Jail in Georgia later today, where he is expected to surrender in the wake of his indictment on charges related to his effort to overturn the 2020 election, guys. So the former president dominating the headlines, certainly today, uh, and we'll see whether these other candidates can rally uh, some momentum out of this debate last night and take him on. Back over to you. I, you know, I mean, I didn't think that the Trump Tucker thing would be able to kind of elbow its way into the room, but um, I, I found it a little, in some ways, more compelling than what was going on at the debate. I'll be very curious. The I don't know if we're going to be able to get any kind of um, viewership stats, and this was basically a pre-taped video that was just uploaded. So I don't know how you compare yeah. or try to figure out what kind of an. I guess the ultimate impact comes down to the impact at the polls. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see exactly what kind of numbers this thing got and sort of how that affects the debate that was happening simultaneously. If you listen to the crowd that was in the room, though, very supportive of the former president, Donald Trump, even as the candidates themselves on the stage were split, right? You had Vivek Ramaswamy up there saying that he thought that uh, Donald Trump was the best president in the history of the United States. And you had other candidates up there, including Chris Christie of New Jersey, Mike Pence, the former vice president, suggesting that Donald Trump is unfit to hold the office of the presidency. One question I would have uh, liked to have seen maybe asked of Vivek Ramaswamy is if you believe that Donald Trump is the best president in the history of the country and Donald Trump is running again, why are you in this race? You know, the question becomes why run against him if he's so good? Uh, that left unanswered on the debate stage last night and presumably at least some of the candidates on this stage uh, are running for the vice presidential nomination. If Donald Trump should get the Republican nomination, there's always that VP slot to consider. Mike Pence presumably not going to yeah. get it again, guys. I mean, in the world of, of Moneyball, given that, that so many of these folks who were on stage were desperate to raise money last night, some of whom 
or even including their their website. If you waited till the very end, the, the, the website way, they, and they, asking they for had contributions. Their website address. They literally He's asked around for that. Uh, you know, um, who did you donate to? They, yep. they they asked specifically for donations. How quickly will we see that? Um, clearly, DeSantis is at the top in terms of total numbers between direct dollars to him plus that super PAC. So he's over $100 million right now. And then you get down to Vivek Ramaswamy. I think he's loaned his, his campaign something million. like $15 million. Yeah. And there's a couple of million dollars on, on either end of that. Um, and, and, and somewhere in between is, is basically everybody else. And maybe some of you are lower than that. How quickly will we know in terms of that? That might actually be the, the vote, if you will, uh, on, on who won that, that, that debate last night. Yeah, look. We'll see some of those numbers later on today because a lot of these candidates will announce, right, exactly how much they raise if they feel like it's a big number. We're in an era now where this happens within minutes and hours. Candidates pounce on these viral moments and try to capture all those online contributions where people just respond emotionally and click send. Uh, they were all doing that last night. Every candidate was sending out their favorite clips from the moment. So I think uh, this is one of those ones where you have to capture lightning in a bottle very quickly now with fundraising yeah. online mm -hmm. uh, saying, in so order to, to sort of make the moment. Who's going to be first to, to drop out? Because a lot of pressure from mainstream Republicans saying, look, this is not, uh, you know, if, if you want, if you have the general election in, in sight, you guys got to narrow this down quickly. But no one's probably going to. Yeah. Well, they're look, all going to carry it on. It looked right? difficult for Chris Christie. Chris Christie picking the anti-Trump lane, that seemed very difficult. He's getting a lot the of pushback right from the, the crowd. He's really like Donald Trump, yep, yep. booing him right at the beginning. And Ron DeSantis really needed a breakout moment. His campaign he has did been not. Uh, slagging lately. Uh, he didn't have the breakout moment that I think maybe his campaign was looking for. Uh, so there are some signs of, of trouble in some of these campaigns already. Uh, but Vivek Ramaswamy, I mean, really introduced himself on a national stage and sort of took ownership of that pro-Trump lane. If you, if you like Trump, but he's, you can't have him for various legal I mean, reasons, he sort of maybe you'll try this new guy. He stole the show by baiting everybody in sort of a unique way. I mean, he made it all about him by getting everybody to... You're all politicians. And that's, come to him. And, and that's the Donald Trump... Mess, yeah. Andrew, that is the Donald Trump theory that's a, of politics. All strategy. attention is good, whether it's negative or positive. Right. right? The keys All attention is good, whether it's negative or positive. That's what. That's how Trump right. put himself at the center of the Republican Party, and that's how Vivek Ramaswamy put I mean, himself at the center of that Trump debate. Trump on Twitter time. right now, it's 146 million views. What? I put that in air quotes. Yeah. Uh, meaning, right. if you look at Tucker's, if you right. look at that video, it's, it's capturing 146 something. Yeah, that could be 146 people who have also scrolled by it. Meaning, but I, I think you, if you have to, if, if you look it at it for, plays for one second, yeah, yeah. one second, two seconds. Yep. So then there's always going to be the debate right. between. How are we ever right. going to know? Maybe Fox gets several million people who actually watch. I watch it all two all, all two hours. I did not watch right. this for all two Still hours. So the likes of which Great. we've never seen. He loves to say that. <laughs>